Hi everybody, this is David with David's Tutorials and today I'm going to show you how to blow up your computer screen. How to zoom in on it and make it larger. What did you think I meant? This tutorial is specifically for Windows users. If you're a Mac user, I put some links down in the description down below to some pretty good videos that will show you how to do the exact same thing. There's no question all of us have come across websites or documents or computer programs where we just needed to get a closer up look at what's on our screen. This is especially critical when we come across websites with frustratingly small fonts and our eyes aren't quite as young as they used to be. Or when we come across programs developed by website designers who thought it was a really cool thing to make really tiny print in gray on a white or a black background. Do these people honestly think that making things hard to see is a good idea? Who does that? The thing that bothers me the most about it though is when they do this, especially in computer programs, they take away my option to change it back to the way I like it. For some reason, it just rubs me the wrong way when somebody decides for me what it is I like and doesn't give me the ability to change it. Sorry for the rant, but that's just my opinion. Let's go ahead and get started showing you the way to make your computer screen larger. I'll show you all the default settings first, then I'll get into a way where you can change the defaults. In Windows 10, to turn on screen magnification, simply press the Windows key and the plus key. It can either be the plus key on the numeric keypad or on the main section of the keyboard above the regular keys, but you don't need to use the shift key. I have heard this works in Windows 8 and in Windows 7, depending on which Aero theme you're using, but I haven't checked this out for myself. So if you're still using Windows 8 or Windows 7, try the technique and leave us a comment down in the section below and let us know how it works for you. The default setting for this magnifier is to magnify the entire screen to 200% of its normal size, or in other words, 100% magnification. Every time you press the magnify key combination, it increases the size by another 100%. You can go up to 200%, 300%, 400%, and so on. To shrink the magnification, simply press the Windows key and the minus key. The magnification will then shrink by the same increment until you're back to 100%. It won't shrink it below 100%, so don't try that. It's just so easy, and it's already built in, so it's handy as well. Don't you agree? Now let's take a look at some of the options you have with this magnifier tool. You can get to the options in the Windows 10 settings screen, which you can open two different ways. First, you can turn on magnification, which will cause the control bar to appear, then click on the gear icon. Or the other way is you can go to the Windows control logo in your toolbar, select the settings cog wheel, then in the search box, type M A G N and select magnifier from the list that appears. One of the main things I want you to notice about this screen is how clearly it describes all the keyboard shortcuts you can use to accomplish each action. For example, you can see in the very first setting, not only can you turn the magnifier on with Windows Plus, you can also turn it off with Windows Escape. The next setting is for the initial zoom after turning on the magnifier. If, for example, you prefer your magnifier to start up at 150% instead of 100%, you can change that here. For me, one of the more important settings is the next one, Zoom Increments. This is how much it will zoom by every time you press the magnify hotkeys. It defaults to 100% increments, but I find I prefer it to zoom in at only 50% increments. You should probably try it out and try several different settings to figure out which zoom increment you like the best. Other settings you can change include startup behavior, magnifier appearance, magnifier view, and lens size. All of these are pretty easy to understand from their descriptions here, so I won't take up your time by reading something to you that you can read for yourself. To wrap it all up, you can simply use Windows Plus to turn the magnifier on and to increase the magnification once it's on. You use Windows Minus to decrease the magnification all the way down to 100% and Windows Escape to turn it off. If you want more, just use the Magnifier Settings panel to see more, 
to change your settings, and to learn more shortcut keystrokes. I hope this has been helpful to you and that you remember it and use it the next time you need to blow up your computer screen. If you like my tutorials and you'd like to encourage me to keep making more of them, the two things that you can do are first to share this video on places like social media or right here on YouTube or put it in an email and send it to somebody else and leave us a comment in the section down below. Start some discussion on how you think you might be able to use this screen magnifier facility. Also, don't forget to give us a great big old thumbs up. That'll let the YouTube robots know that you thought this was a good video. And if you're not already a subscriber, be sure to click on that subscribe button and then the bell icon to be notified whenever we post another great tutorial here on David's Tutorials.